Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a fall inspired makeup look for you guys. This is my first fall look of the season. So I am definitely a spring, summer kind of girl, but I do love the fall colors, even though I don't like it getting colder. I like to be warm and toasty and cozy. Fall is here, autumn is here, and the leaves are starting to change and the fall colors are coming into play and I am obsessed with the fall colors for makeup. I personally think that those are some of the best colors for my color eye, I have more of a hazel kind of colored eye or something to that effect. I know a lot of people, they'll go dark on the eyes and then they go light on the lips, but you know, I decided to just do my own thing and do dark lips and dark eyes because that's how I roll and I can do what I want. And I think it turned out beautiful. This is something that I would wear definitely for like a date night. If you wanted to do more of a daytime look, you could go lighter with the lips or you could go a little bit lighter with the shades. I'm feeling a little like JLo inspired with the whole hair deal that I have going on. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how I did my hair, make sure to leave a comment below and I will do that for you guys. This is with no extensions at all. This is just my natural hair straightened. It's super easy, but I'll be happy to do that for you. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just please keep watching. All right guys, so to start off this look, we're gonna mix these two shades by Makeup Geek. This is Peach Smoothie and Barcelona Beach, and I'm using a Sigma E40 blending brush to sweep that into the crease and down onto the lid a little bit. Now I'm using Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Flamethrower, and I'm concentrating that on the outer V of my lower lid. Doesn't matter how messy it is, we will be able to clean it up later on. Now I'm going in with another foiled shadow by Makeup Geek. This is the shade Jester, and it's this beautiful green shade. I just thought these colors looked beautiful together for fall. Now I'm going in with the shade Cocoa Bear, and I'm using a small crease brush by Makeup Geek to add that into the crease. And then to warm it up just a bit, I'm using this Morphe palette, and I'm using this warmer brown shade to go right over top of that, and just blending those two together. And I'm also bringing this right into the outer V of the eye as well. And as you can see, I'm kind of creating a little bit of a winged look with the shadow because I'm not going to do a winged liner. Then I'm just blending that out with a nice clean makeup blending brush and then just really going over those colors to make them pop. Then to highlight, I'm using a Sigma pencil brush and my favorite highlighter of life. It is the Becca Cosmetics Jaclyn Hill Creation Champagne Pop. I'm using that for the inner corner and also for the brow bone for this look. And then taking my Sigma brush, uh, blending brush clean and just blending over all of that. Now I'm going in with this Jordana Cosmetics Eyeliner. This is in the shade, what shade is this? This is Coffee Bean, and I'm just using that to smudge along the top lash line. Then going in with my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara, I think that's what you call it. And then I'm taking a makeup wipe just to really clean under the eyes. Any shadow fallout or any cleanup that needs to be done, you can do that now. Then I'm going in with my foundation. I'm mixing my Neutrogena Shine Control Makeup in the shade Natural Ivory with my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in the shade NC30. And I'm using my IT Cosmetics uh, foundation brush to blend this in and then I'm gonna go over it with a damp beauty blender This is really going to help mold that makeup into the skin and really just let it melt into the skin and become one with the skin and Because I have nice dry lips I'm just gonna wipe off the foundation and add a little bit of lip balm now I'm going in with my urban decay naked skin concealer Just putting a little bit underneath of my eyes along my chin and down the bridge of my nose Just to help kind of highlight the face and cover up any dark circles that you may have going on And again, I'm using my damp beauty blender to really blend this into the skin Really take your time with this because you want it to be nice and blended then I'm using my Graftobian powder. This is the Graftobian Pro Setting Powder and the shade is 
in light and I'm just using that to set my concealer and I'm using the baking method. So yes, it looks a little crazy right now. Now I'm going in with my Ardell Wispy Lashes. I just feel like these lashes look good with every single look. Am I the only one that feels that way? Seriously. So then I'm just taking a tapered highlighter brush by Sigma just to wipe away any of that excess powder. That way your concealer is not going to budge. Now it's time to spice up that lower lash line and I'm using that same Coffee Bean Eyeliner by Jordana and then kind of smoking it out with a little bit of that Coco Bear eyeshadow. And then I'm going in with a very small pencil brush and kind of bringing that out into a point on the corner of the eye. And then I'm of course coating my lower lash line and then I'm using my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. This is in the shade 35i, just to bronze up my face a little bit. I'm not really doing a whole lot of contouring, just trying to warm up the skin a bit. I love this bronzer, you guys. It's just beautiful. It looks like your own skin. It really does. And for this, I actually use the Anastasia Contour Kit and I use that middle shade. It's more of a gray tone bronzer and I use that, or contour powder, whatever you wanna call it, and I use that for my nose just to contour a little bit. I did not go crazy. And then I'm using my NYX Terracotta Blush, adding that to the apples of my cheek to give me some life back into the face. And then I'm using the same Champagne Pop Highlighter to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, also down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my Cupid's bow. And to blend everything together, I'm just using a nice stippling brush to just make sure that there's no harsh lines. Then going in with this NYX lip pencil in the shade Auburn, I'm going to line the lips and also fill them in completely. That way you have a base for your lipstick. And I'm using Milani's uh, lipstick in the shade Cabaret Blend. It's a beautiful deep wine kind of shade. I'm so bad at explaining colors, but it's gorgeous. And then I did top this with just a little bit of MAC lip glass in the shade See Through. I just added it to the center of the lips to create a little bit more of a glossy look. And you should see that clip in just a second. There you go. And just an FYI, my brows were done before this video and I will have all of the products listed in the down bar below. So if you have any questions, definitely check it out. All right guys, that is it. That's the whole look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want more fall inspired looks, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Follow me on all my other social sites at The Glam Bell. Leave a comment below and let me know what type of fall looks you would like to see. I'm thinking of doing something just kind of colorful for fall because, you know, I'm different like that. So let me know what you want to see. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.